stay in pads. You you said uh, beforehand, you know, some of the guys will step step up. But just just your thoughts on what happened today? Yeah, I think the guys came out and uh, probably had the right attitude. And I just think that uh, we need to raise our level of expectations of uh, what an intense practice is, and that's our job as a coaching staff. So we have to continue to raise these guys' level of expectations of what we expect. Were you pleased of what you saw? Um, oh, not really. Um, we need to be better. Uh, I think we need to be a lot more physical. Uh, so we'll, we'll immediately, uh, when they come back out to practice, start doing a lot more physical things. And if we have to, that might be all we do. Coach, a lot of spirit, a lot of emotion just being out here, seeing it's very noticeable. Is that something you encourage? Are you happy to see that from your guys? You know, I think you just got to be yourself. Uh, you know, I'm hoping at some point it becomes contagious and the, and the players start, you know, having a little bit more energy than the coaches. Uh, right now, our coaching staff has more energy than, than some of the players. And uh, that's, you know, that's why we're here. One of your concerns coming out was quarterback. Did you see some things you like the quarterback today? You know, at times, you know, until we sit down and look at the film, uh, I don't ever like to pass any type of judgment. But uh, you know, we got some we got some work to do in all areas. But uh, you know, we kind of livened it up there at the end of practice, at end of practice, and made it a competitive atmosphere. And it's first and ten, you either get four yards or you don't. And uh, defense won both segments, well, ones versus ones and twos versus twos. So, but. Uh, We'll get there. There's some chippiness out there. Some players had to be separated a little bit throughout the practice. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's you know, I think that's the way it should be. You, know, you got to compete, and this is important to you. And I've said this all along. You know, football is not for everybody. You know, uh, if you don't like contact and you don't like flying around and getting excited and you know, getting red eyes and panting a little bit, uh, you know, football is not for everybody. So there might be some guys out here that they really don't understand what football is really all about. Coach, is that uh, the installation stuff is one thing, but is that maybe a bigger part of the job is kind of changing the culture of some of their mindsets? Of oh, we have to. We, we definitely have to. Um, and, you know, I mean, we, we accept that, and uh, we'll work at it daily, and uh, we'll get the right staff in place to do it. Eric, have you seen improvements? This is the third practice, not the first one in pass, but have you seen improvement from, from day one? At times, you know, and, you know, sometimes as coaches, I've said this before, you dwell on the negatives, but we're, we're seeing some positive things. I, I like some of the things that uh, some of our guys do. It's just, uh, I, I just, my expectations are for us to be a lot more physical football team, and uh, we have, we've have got to address that immediately. Just off, off the football, you had your coach's clinic today. How did that go? Were you, it went were great. You know, the response was great. Uh, our coaches, you know, here locally came out and supported us. And, you know, they know what we're trying to do. It's been, you know, I don't know how long they said it's been since we had a clinic. But, uh, you know, we, we fed them well. Uh, we coached them up. They coached us up. And uh, we had some good fellowship. And, you know, they were appreciative. And I think that will pay dividends down the road.